close the club face a little bit. Okay. How could you close the club face with your golf swing? And now we're feeling potentially what might be a big hook. We can, through the culture of golf and coaching, become conditioned to look at a, watch a video and we all start to see it the same way. Watch the guys on TV, some are in here, some are over there. It's like, well, they're not all on that plane. Too much information from different people. I've just the game like you know. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a few shots and find out. Today than this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could go to the driving range at home now, yeah. and you go to the range and you've got a reason to go and practice. Yeah, and you yeah. could get used to that fly. And, and then when yeah. you go on the golf course now, you're still on that team, you see the fly. Too much information from different people. Yeah. And then it's I've just the game like, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so I wanted a reset. Okay. Really. Too much thinking going on. Yeah. Trying yeah. different things. I'm over swinging. Okay. Massively, everyone says to me, I'm over because I can see the club out in the left. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. But I think someone said I'll collapse in. It might. It's a, it can that's, open up a can of worms. Yeah, that's why I wanted to come see you. Yeah. Because <laughs> we need to see if it can work. Anything. If not, just tell me to give up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's never that, it never gets to that point. Sometimes I'm up here and I'm suddenly, it, it, I'm like, what, what am I doing? Yeah. You know, and that's horrible. And it's not a case of like position wise, it's a no. case of just being comfortable with the movement, recognising yeah. that your actions. Just having it flowing. Is exactly. Yeah. So I've come here for a bit of a reset. Yeah. And then I can work on it from that. Exactly. Then you've, got some, then you've got some fundamentals for yeah. you to work on that you can go and develop. Yeah. The key to this is becoming your own coach. Yeah. You're not, not having to rely on seeing that somebody every week. Yeah. And becoming coach dependent and having only their and having their opinion, which I'm not saying is not valuable, no. but and that, that support is 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 good too. Mm. But you can become dependent and you're losing essentially ownership of your own learning because you're dependent on their opinion. Think about how you play over the sport. Um, you, you do yourself you, teach yourself. You, you teach yourself. Yeah. If I'm slicing it, no, it'd be nice to go. Like, oh, now I'm doing wrong. Yeah, we can through the culture of golf and coaching. Uh, become conditioned to just watch a video and we all start to see it the same way. And trying to work your way to that. So you see it? loads yeah. of people on driving range, you can see what drills they're doing and you can know before, yeah. they, before you even ask them why they're doing it. Yeah. And everyone's doing like the, similar, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. They're all checking the backswing, yeah. they're all kind of making sure they don't get inside, they're all check, kind of checking, make sure they set the wrists on the target line. Yeah. But like, you know, watch the, watch the guys on TV, some are in here, some are over there. Mm. It's like, well, they're not all on that plane. No. And even the guys who are practicing on it, like you'll see them on those plane perfecter things and all yeah. the, and they'll be they'll be doing this and they'll have things on the floor and but then you go and watch them play and yeah, in the game like they're adapting yeah. to the shot they're playing, they're suddenly they're using variability, but they're attuned to that variability where what we've done is we don't recognise where we can go, all we're trying to do is go in the same place every time. And these players, as soon as they've gone on the golf course, they're using different space with their swing, yeah. and what we've done is we've conditioned ourselves through practice to uh, constrain ourselves just to use in this space. Yeah. So then we wonder, well, I'm doing this drill, but I'm not getting the improvement I'd expect because these players are playing like tour level golf or whatever, and and, um, and they're, I'm doing that drill, I should be getting better. Yeah. But they understand the movement they've got available to them and they use it, whereas we're not really aware of all that because we've never trained it, because we've never actually gone outside of this space. Yeah. Different. Let's hit a few more and see what we can do to as we warm up. So this is what we're going to learn today how to essentially prevent that from happening. Yeah. So you've gone pull hooks. Because they're massively different, aren't massive, they? Massive, yeah. I mean, the difference between those two I'm shots. Not on the green or nothing. It's like you're off the range left and you're off yeah. the range right. You went from a pull hook to a push to a push fade, push yeah. cut. So what's going through your mind at the moment with the swing? What, what are you trying to do? Are you, are you changing anything to try and? Um, no. Okay. No. I've closed the club face a little bit. Okay. So it's reduced the fade a bit. Yeah. How could you close the club face with your golf swing? I've 
Big so, in the toe in. So, swinging back and through, what would what would uh, what would it be like? What would it feel like to rotate the face? How would you recognise face rotation with with that wrist? Yeah. So twist. So twisting the club. So if you twist the face, to, if you twist it open on the way back, just rotate it open like a think of a barn door where you're just opening it. How would you open the face on the way back? Okay, and then closing it on the way through. So what we want to do first is recognise, keep your grip for me now, is we want to recognise opening the face and closing the face. Yeah. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to clubhead speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. So when you swing, we can open that. And then what we've got a sense of, what the body's getting a sense of, is getting a sense of rotation, because now you've opened it, when you swing, you can close it, yeah. and you're gonna feel that, yeah. and then you're gonna get a sense now of how much you've done it, and you're gonna see the golf shot that happens. The wrists afford us so much movement with the club, we've got to explore this affordance first. Then we can start to apply it. Just do it again for me, just left-handed. Just open it and close it, little half swings. Now, you don't need to make such a big arm swing, Matt. Just let the club take over your hands a little bit more on the way through. But let it rotate. So that shaft here, mm -hmm. this, that's rotation. Okay. Whereas this is rotating, what, what you were doing this. So that's essentially this. So you're trying to close that. You're trying to square it up with extension okay. of the wrist. Instead of, that's rotation. So that's a... That's called a supination where you, you, your wrist and your forearm rotate, okay, right. and you get that. So this enables you to then hit down and rotate, whereas okay. if you do this to square it up, you're not hitting down now, you're starting, the club's starting to go back up. Weird feeling? Yeah. Yeah, I don't do that. You could swing the golf club out towards George and let it rotate, yeah, even more towards George. That's it. Can you feel the arc the club's making? Yeah. So what shot shape might that produce? It'd be more of a draw. Much more of a draw, yeah. yeah. So what you're doing now, you're swinging the golf club in that direction, mm -hmm. but you're rotating the golf club face. Oh, yeah, there. So now you've got a club that's swinging that way, but you've got a face that's rotating. So now the ball starts along the yellow line, but then it's going to go off that way because you're swinging this way. Yeah. So the path of the club head creates the curvature for the ball. If you wanted to play more draw, where would you go? Where would you swing to go more draw? Exactly. And now we're feeling potentially what might be a big hook. But we're going to find out. Let's, let's have a few shots and find out. And now we've got some feedback. I didn't shut the face. Did didn't shut the face. Okay, so we know. We try to shut the face, but what we're recognising already is that our feeling for closing yeah, the face yeah. isn't quite aligned with what's actually happening. There you go. Fantastic. So now we're moving in a way that is intentional, the intention of a ball flight, and we've got some form of intention now behind the direction we're swinging and what we're doing with the club. Perfect. Sharp. Different feel? Much better, yeah. It was free. Yeah. Awesome. That's a great shot. So you've just hit three shots and they're all draws. Yeah. And they, that was intentional. Even if you did nothing more today than I'd this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could go to the driving range at home now. Yeah. And you go to the range and you've got a reason to go and practice. Yeah, and you yeah. can get used to that fly. And, and then when yeah. you're on the golf course, now you're still on that tee and you see the fly, you think, I can see it, I can picture it. Yeah. And then when you're behind your golf ball, you're having a practice swing with the swing that you're feeling now. You can yeah. feel, and you can start to, this will be more, this will be less. And then you hit yeah. the shot. And if it does it too much, adjust it. I can go this way more or I can maybe do it less. Yeah. So you can actually start to regulate this. Just enjoy seeing the ball fly match the intention of your movement. Look at that. Sharp. Much better. There you go. 
It's a much better strike. Yeah. And even if your strike is a little bit off, yeah. you've got your ball flight under control because we're not always going to hit it 10 out of 10 no. perfect. But if our 6 out of 10 and 5 out of 10 shots oh, definitely, are still yeah. going in the right ballpark, they're not costing us. No. As long as, the, as long as the shot's not hurting us too much, yeah. the bad ones, yeah. we're all right, we're all good because it's like, all right, that's going to happen, but I've got another shot. That's no big deal, but we can manage that. Be, yeah, it's when you're hitting right, fades yeah. and you intended to hit a draw yeah, or yeah. you intended to go to the right and you went like, oh no, where's it going? That's, the, that's what that's that's it's been. I've been like, I don't know where this ball's going to go. Well, that's what we've got to remove yeah. or, re or minimize, reduce, because yeah, yeah. we, it's always. Yeah, I'm not always expecting there. miracles. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I said to you at the start, you know, if you tell me to give up, that's it. <laughs> no, there's I'll definitely find not, a different sport. We're definitely not going to get to that. I mean, you drink, look at that. Excellent. Put that into the context of, of gameplay. Yeah. Performance-wise, you just missed. You might have hit. You might have hit the left edge of the green, or you just missed the green a bit left. Yeah. But it, it drew. Yeah. You just started a bit straight. No but problem. I know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. Yeah. So now that's that was a green. Thing. Now just start it a bit further right and draw it in. And there you go. Perfect. What a golf shot. I feel good. Yeah, lovely. What you're doing here is you're creating a lovely motion and you're starting to get out of your own way. So you could say, well, the green's in the middle of that okay. and the ball collector's the fringe and the 150 is the fringe. Yeah. So that's the kind of the realistic size of a green yeah. that you're beating into. And you can shape it into that green. Like that. Perfect, bang in the middle of it. Yeah. You started that off inside the right edge of the green and drew it into the middle. Yeah. On a golf course, that's a green hit straight yeah. away from 150 yards. And it feels just free. Brilliant. All I'm thinking about is yeah. the wrist. Yeah. Getting that open. Because that's, that's what the club's doing. So you, yeah. all you're doing is you, you're just aware of what the club's doing. Yeah. What, and then your body reacts, it, it reacts, it responds to moving away to facilitate that. So your body's moving now to essentially create the space for you to swing and create the movement for you to release it yeah. the way you recognise for the shot. Yeah. And then you've got the feedback from the shot to tell you if it was right or not for you. Yeah. So it's like now you've got all these, you've got these feedback loops. Shot. Yeah, if I could hit it like that, I'd be well happy. Yeah. Yeah. If I could, you just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, look. Our self talk as golfers yeah. is unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> it's like. So nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and but it's true, our self talk as golfers, I mean, it's so negatively wired, it's almost yeah. like we're expecting the worst, and it's like. And, and I'm not saying we should be, it should be false hope and we should not be trying to fool ourselves. Be more positive. But just, yeah, just being more kind of just accepting and neutral, really. Not even yeah. positive. Yeah. Just actually just being more kind of neutral about it and not so judgmental because we're really, we're judging ourselves if we're saying, I hope, I, uh, if, I, if I could do this, I, it's, like say, yeah. it's, like, it's like saying I'm, I'm already not, gonna not good enough yeah, yeah. to do this. You're at the point at the minute, right, with your game, where you can improve exponentially. Yeah. And we want, we want, we want to get that kind of meteoric rise with the understanding of this is going to get harder as I get, as I get, as I improve more and more and more generally, yeah. uh, because the margins get tighter yeah. of what I'm doing, and my expectations change a little bit, and my game, and now my handicap might go down. So now I've not got the luxury of two shots on. On, a, on one or two holes now. <laughs> now I've actually well, got. I found that hard on when I got down to seven. Yeah, and it's not exactly. You mean?